name is Kevin Sheridan, I'm from Old Castle in County Meath. I'm a farmer and I do plunge mobile sheep dipping as well. Um, my day mostly consists of getting up around 6 o'clock in the morning, have my breakfast and get organised to head off dipping for the day. Pack up the jeep with all the generator and water pump and dip and all the waterproof gear, go down and hook up to the sheep dipping trailer. When I start dipping the sheep I'd approximately do 80-90 adult sheep per hour, around 120 lambs per hour, all depending on the size of the sheep. So today we're visiting, the first farm we're going to is over in Collinstown, County Westmeath, and the farm that we'll be visiting in the afternoon is in Mount Nugent in County Cavan. Anyway, so when we arrived into the farm this morning, we set up the sheep dipper in the position where it was most handy to try and dip the sheep in. And then we pulled out all the ramps, got the gate set up from behind. After that, we got the dipping solution ready for operation. The sheep dip we're using is Ectoflitz, which is made by Pymeda. We put in 11 squirts of dip into the dipper tank of 60 mils for 1,000 litres of water. And after every 36 sheep, we continue to top the tank back up to the correct level it needs and put in a further three squirts of dip, which is 180 mils. As the sheep enter onto the dipper, there's a guinea pig sheep standing up at the front, so she encourages the rest of the sheep to walk up to her. When they walk up on top of the platform, there's a tapered floor, so when the sheep's back legs go onto the tapered floor, they automatically slide in backwards into the tank, hence leaving no stress or no pain on the sheep. It'll hold three adult sheep per time. The sheep are in for a minute, and they get their heads plunged down twice. The sheep exit the dipping tub through a gate at the front, which I control from the back, from where I'm standing, into the draining area. The draining area will hold approximately, depending on the size of the sheep, around 25 adult yos. Uh, the sheep remain there until the draining area is full. When it's full, I open up the gate, the exit gate at the front, where all the sheep can walk out. Today we dipped 170 sheep for this farmer. We have all that done, the farmer's sheep has gone back off the grass, and I am just washing down the unit now and getting it ready to empty out the dip in the slatted tank beside us here and get ready to head on to the next farmer. So I've dipping sheep since 2008. I was going to build my own dipping tank, but I decided against it because I've got land in various different places, so I obviously would have to bring all the sheep to the dipping yard, so I decided why not build a dipper and bring it to the sheep. And I could see there was a bit of a demand for a mobile sheep dipper in my area, so in 2012, I decided to take the plunge and build a bigger plunge dipper. And since then, my numbers every year have been escalating. Okay, so now we are at our second stop down in Manugent County Cavan. We have approximately 40 sheep to dip. There's a warble sheep and there is Texel cross sheep to do today. So now I'm just going to put on my waterproof gear here at the moment. I have pull-ups which are on the outside of the wellies. I wear them there to make sure that no dip gets down on the inside of the wellingtons. I also have my apron and waterproof coat, the mask for respirating and the face shield for dispensing the dip and also my gloves as well. packed up here now and ready for the road home. Your sheep vector parasites would be your scab mite, your lice, ticks, keds and also your blowfly strike. We are using Ectoflitz summer and winter sheep dip. It is manufactured by, by Mida. It's one of the old traditional type OP sheep dips. I'm using it for the past eight years with excellent results and the farmer is always very very pleased with the thrive the sheep will do afterwards.